Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Saturday, April 8th, 2023. Lance Brack here on this Saturday episode of GMWF. Hope everyone had a great week and is having a great Saturday morning so far. And on this episode of GMWF, I'm going to talk about New Japan Pro Wrestling Sakura Genesis that took place this morning. Just finished up a little bit ago. Well, I say this morning, but well, here in the United States it is. And let's get right into it. Sakura Genesis from New Japan Pro Wrestling. And we have Minoru Suzuki, Great Okan, and Toru Yanu defeating Hiroshi Tanahashi, Yo, and El Desperado. And the United Empire team of Jeff Cobb, Francisco Akira, and Aaron Hinari. Defeat the House of Torture, Evil, Show, and Yujiro Takahashi. Just five guys defeat Los and Canables de Apone. And the Bullet Club team of El Fantasmo, David Finley, and Kenka defeat Tama Tanga. Hikalelu and Master Wado. Next up, three-way match for the IWGP Women's Championship. Making her first title defense since winning the championship back at Battle in the Valley in February. Mercedes Monet defeats AZM and Hazuki and retaining the championship in her first defense Mercedes Monet in her first match in Japan as part of New Japan Pro Wrestling Not sure when her first or her next date, I should say, with New Japan will be just yet. But her first title defense is a successful one. The NJPW World Television Championship up next. Zack Sabre Jr. defeats Shoto Unamo. The IWGP World Tag Team Championships are on the line next. Aussie Open defeated in the team of Bishamon, Goto, and Yoshihashi to win the IWGP Tag Team Championships. Next up, on Sakura Genesis. The IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship on the line. Himoru Takahashi defeats Robbie Eagles to retain. And now for the main event of the evening. The IWGP World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. And a new champion is crowned. Sanada defeating Ketsuchika Okada to win the IWGP World Championship. I have not watched the show yet and I apologize for the spoilers. If you haven't seen if you haven't seen it yet, I might try on might try watching it later even though I know the results already still sounds like it was a pretty good show from 
New Japan this morning. And once again, we have a new IWGP World's Heavyweight Champion, Sonata, defeating Okada. And Mercedes Monet successfully defending the IWGP Women's Championship. So, Sakura Genesis, like I said, sounded like it was a pretty good show this morning. Definitely worth checking out. Like I said, I might watch it later. And just a reminder, in case you missed it, there's a new episode of 360 Wrestling Fanatic last night recapping WWE Friday Night Smackdown, AEW Rampage, and AEW Battle of the Belts 6, which, in my opinion, was a pretty good night. Of pro wrestling. We had four hours of it last night. Well, it doesn't seem like it, but today is now. It's been one week since the first night of WrestleMania, and what a week it has been. There's been not only with just WrestleMania, which is always a big week for pro wrestling anyway and then also with the news of the sale WWE 2 in Denver breaking and the whole merger thing WWE and UFC what I have read yesterday is that I believe the headline said something like Dana White squashes rumors about WWE and UFC crossover, which is fine with me. Like I always say on the podcast that I am not a fan of UFC anyway, so that is fine with me if there is no crossover or if they're not involved at all with each other. And I have tried to watch UFC a little bit in the past and other MMA promotions, Bellator, uh, Pride when it was still around. But I, I don't know why MMA though, I, when I try to watch it, I just can't get into it. Just don't have any interest in it at all. I don't know why. But I know, and I am a fan of some MMA stars who have been in pro wrestling. Ken Shamrock, Dan Severn, Matt Riddle, of course, uh, Frank Trigg, Josh Barnett. But for some reason, just uh, trying to watch MMA, I can't get any interest in it. So... If there is no UFC uh, and WWE crossovers, that would be just fine with me. And also had the big uh, announcement from Tony Khan this week. All In, which will be August 27th from London, England at Wembley Stadium, which will be the biggest venue that AEW has ran so far in their history. And I was listening to a Post Wrestling's Remind Us Smackdown last night. And they did bring up a good point that they actually have not said anything yet about it being a pay-per-view, which maybe this will be just some kind of live special. And it would make sense if that is the case. Because the week after that is scheduled to be all out and would really make no sense to run two pay-per-views back-to-back two weeks in a row 
ask the people to pay uh, $50 each two weeks in a row when it really might be that great of an idea, especially for if it'll be airing live here in North America at probably 3 p.m. I don't know if uh, people will be home from work yet. And, I mean, there's always a replace people could order, but like I said, this could be some kind of just live special. We'll just have to wait and see to find out more. And next weekend, one week from tomorrow, Impact Wrestling Rebellion from the Rebel Complex in Toronto, which should, so far they have a very stacked card, just a few matches. The Impact World Championship Online, we will see a new champion. Steve Macklin taking on Kushida. Team Tommy Dreamer versus Team Boldy Ray in the Hardcore War. And the, I, the Impact Wrestling World Tag Team Championships are on the line in an Ultimate X match. The Motor City Machine Guns versus the Bullet Club, Chris Bay and Ace Austin. The Knockouts Championship on the line. If Mickey James can compete, it'll be a three-way match with James, Deanna Perrazzo, and Jordan Grace. If Mickey James cannot compete, if she's not cleared, it will be a singles match between Deanna Perrazzo and Jordan Grace. But I see Mickey James probably competing in this match, and we'll probably have the three-way. And that's all for this episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you everyone for listening here on Spreaker or wherever you are listening to 360 Wrestling Podcast on Stay tuned for more episodes of 360 Wrestling Fanatic coming at you. Not sure if we'll have any new episodes this weekend or not but we'll be back here tomorrow Sunday morning for a special Easter episode, I guess you could call it, of 360 Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Hope everyone has a great, happy, and safe Easter weekend. But until next time, keep watching pro wrestling, everyone.